we are here. Hello, hello. Shout out to all the listeners. This is Miss Light and Lively. We are here for In the Mix Monday. I got DJ Claude. Yeah, yeah. And I have um, guest artists in the house, Mr. Ben Soul Ray artist. We're going to um, introduce him a little bit later. So I got to do a quick recap because I was not here last week. As you know, it was Labor Day weekend. So Light and Lively was on a world tour. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> So, you know, it's the West Indian thing. That was my weekend to kind of turn up. So I had a lot of partying going on, a lot of turning up. Um, you know, Friday, little party. And um, Saturday, I went to go see my show, Montano. For those of you who don't know who that is, that's like the king of soca. Yeah. I'm a soca head. My show, you know, you lie. <laughs> Ben so over here lying, acting like he don't know who it is. Okay, so did that, and then Sunday I went to a day party. I have something to set it off about on that, but we'll get to that in a few minutes. So shout out to um, promoter Joe. I don't know if you're listening, but stay tuned in if you are, okay? Because it might be about you. Anyway, <laughs> the day party was cool. Um, that was at this place in the city called The Attic. It was a real nice, nice event um you know day parties are cool you know you get to enjoy the sun well right now while it's still warm the summer's fading away quick fast so you know and then that was sunday and then monday was um labor day you know and of course i was on the parkway haitians i love my people they shut it down as usual it's crazy so um yeah it was crazy they had like what three floats or so Think so. And the Bayesians were pretty good too. It seemed like everybody's having fun, to be honest. Yeah, everybody, it, it was cool. I mean, you know, my only thing with, with the parade is Juve morning, yeah. there's always some sort of killing or stabbing or something. And they always kind of try to blame it on the parade. It has nothing to do with the parade. With the parade. Exactly. The parade will finish like too early. It was over like well, they try to, is this my phone? I can't hear. Click, click, click. Okay. Click, click, click. Okay, you hear yourself? Alright, cool. No, I'm not here. Click, click, click. Alright, that's cool. Alright, good. So, um, that was last weekend. This weekend, um, what did I do? This also girl. Oh, um, Panache. Um, I host the party at Francie Fridays. Panache. Panache. P A. <laughs> P-A-N-A-S-H, not not the Jamaican, um, what you what you trying to say. Shout out to um, Brando who came through with um, uh, Karan from Host Images. Uh, they came through, show love. A lot, of, a lot of people came through, there was a little birthday party celebration. It was yeah. cool. Yeah, you gotta come check it out one of these Fridays. You know. Um, and what else? Oh, this weekend was the um, the San Gennaro um, Festival. For people who don't know who that is, it's like um, Italians. They have like this thing where they have like all this. It's like a big street fair in the city, and they have um, all <laughs> you know the food, the zeppolis, the pizza, all the pasta. So basically, you get gain like ten pounds. You know, just walking through, smelling all the food. It's so good though, and all like the cannolis and all the, the pastries and it was like really I mean I didn't eat everything but some of it some of it <laughs> so um that was pretty much it between last week and this weekend and I finally got to see um the straight out of Compton did you see that no I didn't see that okay I won't I, won't everybody talk, I mean everybody talking about it. everybody says pretty good though it was really good. I was I was yeah, really impressed. Movie. It was a yeah, it was a really good movie. Well, oh, Ice Cube and his son is in it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, is that Ice Cube's son that plays yeah. Ice? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I was like, he looks so much like him. Yeah, okay, that would explain it. Okay. <laughs> that would explain it. So, um, yeah. So that was pretty much the last two weeks. Um, you know, wrapped up real quick. Um, okay. So whoever does it. No, I didn't look at the Instagram, Facebook. Um, we have an artist, reggae artist in the house, Ben Soul. Sure. 
and um, we're gonna be playing some of his music. I'm gonna be talking to him and you know, mm-hmm. questioning him, interrogation. I'm about to set it off and uh, now I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna find out a little bit more about Mr. Benso. Mr. Clickstar, Benso Clickstar. Now it's Benso, kind of like pencil, but with a B like boy. Yeah. So that's that's Capital how you remember. B, yeah. Capital B. Yeah. Okay. So now, being that you're new to the show, and um, I do this thing, I'll kind of explain for the new people who are tuned in. Sure. Um, there's this thing that I do called set it off. So. I'm going to give out the phone number, which is 877-760-1422. If you would like to call in and set it off with me, fine. If you want to call and give Benson a shout out, that's cool too. If you want to call and say hello, you can do that as well. So with that being said, um, you know, I have to have my theme music. Here we go. Yes, he's looking at me. Now, like, 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 all right. Here we go. And, okay, so that's my that's my little theme music. So, all right. I'm not gonna go too hard because we, we could be here for a minute. <laughs> so, the first thing I want to set off on is um okay. Now you saw that movie Hitch. No, no, I don't. You know, saw Hitch. Movie, no. Anybody in the room? You see, Claude, you seen Hitch? Yes. Yeah. All right. So. Here we go. Mm-hmm. I'm at the day party. I'm not gonna name any names, but if you know that you have a um, allergic reaction mm-hmm. to seafood or shellfish, mm-hmm. why in the hell would you order a shrimp cocktail? Because somebody please tell me. I don't know. So. <laughs> I'm like the shrimp bar. I'm like no, the no, 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 no. Okay. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Most of the ladies then go for the cocktail. <laughs> Most of the <laughs> <laughs> Well, so, so here's the thing. I'm allergic to shellfish, right? Yeah. I would never even take a chance to see or test, you know, because I know what's going to happen is I'm going to break out, my lips are going to start swelling, my throat is going to close up, and I could possibly go into what they call uh, anaphylactic shock, which means that you can stop breathing. Yeah. So the person that we were with, I mean, hanging out, she knew that she was allergic mm-hmm. to shellfish, and she decides to order the shrimp cocktail. Yeah. Now, we're all there having a good time, and next thing you know... She's sort of... <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> no, but, but here's the thing. So, you know, in the movie Hitch with um, Will Smith, right? So, you know, he's like starting to feel hot and itching. So then she starts, it's like, it was like a flashback to the movie. So she starts itching and then we have to leave the party. So now we got to find a damn drugstore. So we're in, in the Dwayne, I, I forgot which drugstore we're, we're in. So we're trying to find like Benadryl and stuff to give this girl so she won't like, you know, and then yeah. swell up too. But, and then you see like the, the hives start coming. I'm like, oh my God. So why is your order the, the, the shrimp though? Okay, well, exactly, that's my question. <laughs> so I have to sign off for her because I'm like, yo, seriously, for anybody out there, if you know that you have a food allergy, why chance it? I can't say it off, yeah. I guess, <laughs> um, who else around the table had that shrimp? Just she, just she did. Just she did? Mm-hmm. Oh, That's it. She did, but I yeah, she on her own. <laughs> she on her own on that one. So I'm just like, yo, if you have a death wish, you know, don't involve me in that, cause now I gotta stop yeah. having my fun to take you to the damn emergency room. So she winds up in the emergency room. Yeah, basically, she wound up in the emergency room behind that. So, um, this is a memo to all the people out there. Again, just don't do that. All right, don't chance it. Don't take the chance. If you're not walking around with an EpiPen or any kind of like Benadryl medication, just don't do it. If you know, you know, I mean, I'm sorry, you gotta be a special type of. More than say, talk something to you. Okay. okay. Yeah, because more than say, talk this nose ring thing. Oh, oh, Benadryl. Yeah, you know, I have one nose ring thing now where I go through the nose right in the nostril right there. Mm. You know, you look above yeah, right oh, there. Yeah, looking like, like a bone. Like the cold thing. You know, <laughs> see me? So, any day, some of them people are get into a fight. And somebody does hold on for one of them and put a chain for one of them dry. <laughs> you see me? Only thing you can say. 
Like, go with it up. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Yeah, so basically, for those of you who didn't understand, I did understand what he said, but... All right, he's, he's setting it off on the people who wear the nose rings, and, nose and he put it the nose piercings in the middle of your nose. I don't know. get that, China. I don't Where did, where did that start off from? Yeah. That's stupid. I guess it's from the cold. They want chicken out the cold. I don't get it. <laughs> All right, so we don't get that. But um, you know, I mean, hey, some people do it for style. I don't, I don't really. It's not my thing. Everybody has their own thing, but just not my thing. But whatever. All right, so one other thing, or person rather, I want to set it off on. Also from this day party event. Now, got love for you and everything. Shout out to you. So one of the promoters, all right, he's taking pictures online of, you know, the people standing online, so I guess he wants to use the pictures of everybody for promotion. So he's like, why isn't this thing working right? He has like an iPod or whatever. I'm about to set it off on the, not, on, on the background noise. I'm about to set it off on the background noise. All right, so <laughs> as I was saying. <laughs> So he's like, I don't know what's wrong with this thing. It's not working properly. Yeah. So if you looked at his screen, his whole screen is like shattered. And I'm like, really? You had to ask why it's not working properly? I said, well, maybe if you hadn't dropped it and it wasn't practically shattered to pieces, it might work properly. So that's the answer to answer your question. So he was like, oh, no, you did. And I'm like, yes, I did. So um, you might want to, they have a lot of ways you can actually get that fixed nowadays. Yeah, that's right. So you might want to invest this in is um, America. Yeah, Welcome just just get your get your screen fixed. That's all. Number love, number love. Anyway. <laughs> so, um, Claude, anything you want to sign off about? Me? No, this weekend was pretty. It was cool. Nothing I can remember right now. And one other thing, I wasn't gonna set it off. I wasn't gonna set it off, but um, okay, if you work in an office. So I had somebody, um, you know, at the day job today say something to me and, um, you know, they said that they never opened mail before. Now, last time I checked, opening mail is really not that serious. So, um, all right, if you don't know how to open mail, uh, then maybe you shouldn't be working in the office. That's all I'm saying. Opening mail was not, is, is really not that serious. So I wouldn't even admit that to anybody that I've never opened that I don't know how to do mail. That was the comment that was made. And I kind of just looked at the person like, okay, I don't know how you have a job, but okay, whatever, I'm going to leave that alone. And you're, work, you're working in an office. You should know how to open mail. There's a lot of lazy people out there. You know that. Like, they really said, I don't know. I, I, and I'm looking at them like, you got to be a special kind of fool to not <laughs> know how to open mail. I'm working in that position, like. Or whatever you do not position. Exactly. Alright, I'm done. That's it. No That's more. Fine. No more. Because I have a couple more, but we're we gonna be here too long. So yeah, I think I got everything off my chest for the most part. Mm, let me see. Yeah, for now. Unless something comes up in the middle of the show. Um, every now and then that happens. So okay. <laughs> so alright, so that is pretty much it with the set it off. So again, um hello to all the listeners. I am back. I have Benson in the house. Um, we're gonna take a quick musical break. DJ Claude is gonna go in for us a little bit with the music. And when we get back, we're gonna talk more with Benzel. So the phone number again is 877-760-1422. And we'll be right back. If you're tuned into, tuned into.